Um, something that I just felt really inspired to talk about was the power of listening. I'd like to start with a quote and this is listen with the same passion with which we once be heard and that's by Harriet Lerner. I find this really powerful and thinking about uh, listening as passionately as we speak is something I really thought about when it was raised on the Dare to Lead uh, programme that I went on which is Brené Brown's training. I just think that we spend a lot of time sort of acknowledging the fact that powerful speakers can lead us to act or lead us to feel inspired and it's something that I've become increasingly interested in because I think the, it's quite in, it gives you an ability to inspire others into action or help to deal with injustice. And if you think about some of the powerful people like Martin Luther King and what he did for oppression, uh, just to give an example that people, you know, widely, widely know, um, you think about how they speak. But what we don't really think about often is people that listen with passion and I think sometimes you can think that you have to be really extroverted or really confident in order to be helpful to people because you have to be good at like communicating and starting a conversation but actually people who are more reserved or better listeners because they're interested in that are actually some of the most helpful people um, you can find and I've been lucky to have a colleague who really showed this to me. He was, he's such a good listener that sometimes he'd pick out things that I'd say that I didn't even realise I was communicating. And I think a good listener can do that. And as like in a helping profession, I think it's one of the most fundamental things you can learn. And I think it's so much more important than just trying to fix things because you know how annoying and frustrating it is when you have something that's really difficult to deal with in your life and all you really want is to just talk about it and for someone to just listen before quite often you feel that the situation that you're talking about is so complex that it'd actually be difficult for the person to form um, an analysis or give you a recommendation based on that limited information that you're giving them. And I think that the people we serve as um, social workers or helping professionals, um, it's often the same situation. And I think that something that I've become increasingly more comfortable with is actually not feeling that I have to give advice too quickly. And some of the times where I've really felt that I've had the most impact has been when I've really listened and really understood what matters to that person. And I think that listening, like Rogers talks about in person-centered um, therapy, is uh, learning to listen without being judgmental and being empathetic. And I think that when you actually apply that to real life, it can really like make people think that what you're doing is really starkly different than what they've experienced before because you often find that people have sometimes had such little encouragement in their life and you noticing a strength that that person has or something that they might not have realised about themselves or they've maybe lost, they don't feel like they're valuable and they might be expressing that in different ways and, and it might not be what they're communicating but I just think that in real life, this is so important because I'll give you an example to just make sense of this really. But I was um, supporting someone who'd been involved with social services multiple times um, and all they felt was that social work had taken from them. Every time they described a situation where social services have been involved, they'd come in, they'd taken something and they'd left. It was listening to that that made me realise that you, I, I needed to give something back and it wasn't that I was going to give in terms of putting in services, it was like giving something different and I think when they talk about use of self, that's where that comes in. One of the things that I did was a little thing that they'd done, made, well it seems small to someone from the outside, they were living in a situation where there was a lot of um, hoarding and clutter and things like that, which they're the words that they'd use to describe it. And I noticed that they'd made a difference to it. And 
I recognise that and I actually affirmed the person and said, you know, what, what a brilliant um, starting point this is. And they just said that they were glad that I noticed because they always felt that people had criticised or picked them apart and made it about that they were a bad person. Um, and it just shows that we just need to be so careful not to do that and to listen to what people want us to be. Like, they didn't want just another person coming in and being like, feeling like they were better than them because we're not and I think that thing around everyone being intrinsically valuable becomes really important because everyone deserves the utmost respect and I think all of these things when they're said don't come across as powerfully as when you see when they're not applied. I've seen some really bad oppression of people from the services that are there to support them and it cuts to the bone of it really it pains me like when I when I see it and I think that you don't realize what a strong advocate you can be until something really bothers you um, and it builds character but back to the point of this video I think listening with passion takes time and it takes you to observe and reflect upon yourself and to notice times where you're not listening properly maybe you're thinking of your response before really listening to what the person's saying or you're focusing on the time or whatever and I think it's just something that is interesting to see yourself develop and it's not something that everyone can do um, but yeah it just takes time to build up and I think it's a great skill to have and it's something that I'm always working towards being better at so yeah thank you